Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. I am doing exactly what I said I wasn't going to do and am putting the first podcast out of the month, the end of the month. The reason why this video is so late is because uh, I have been writing and just finished uh, my feature, my second feature film, writing my second feature film. Uh, it's a, I don't have a title for it yet, uh, but it's a, it's a high fantasy uh, story, uh, which I talked briefly about it uh, in our last podcast. But uh, this one, I thought it was only going to be like 70, 80 pages, uh, but it is not. It is uh, a lot, lot longer than that. So that's, that's why it, uh, the podcast hasn't come earlier because I've just been working super hard on finishing that script up. Uh, and I've had a lot of auditions for some uh, TV shows. So uh, I've been busy with acting and writing and filming PB&J and getting uh, Pastel up and running. Um, that's taken some a, a lot more time and effort than I had thought it was going to take. So that's why this podcast is coming late. But thank you for, for holding on and, and continuing to watch. So for this podcast, I figured we could go over the equipment that we used from the beginning of filming to where we are today. So our first gear, I don't have, uh, it's a camcorder, you know, like any of those like 2000s camcorders, uh, was one of the first one we bought, like 250 bucks. We didn't use any microphone on that. So it's just a camcorder. I still have it. It is at my parents' place in the attic somewhere. But the next thing we bought, which was the DSLR, Nikon we back is the first thing that we shot this thing on and we learned our lesson and bought this thing because this is called a shotgun mic um, and it used to be able to uh, just slide on right here and click in and this is how we would shoot everything uh, if we were too far away you wouldn't be able to hear it so we shot everything pretty close so you could pick up our voices on the mic uh, and yeah, so we use this microphone and this DSLR up until we shot Cake, uh, Cake Ink. Uh, that's, we shot, so we shot from basically 2015 to 2022. Yeah, so 2015 to 2022 on this DSLR and it's, it's a great DSLR like we could probably keep shooting on it and giving uh, producing really good shorts for YouTube on it but we wanted to take it a step further we wanted to make the stuff that we were working on feel more professional um, and while DSLR is great and probably we could have shot more professional stuff on it uh, we decided to invest into our future which is moving towards uh, a longer format uh, TV-esque stuff and feature films uh, and we wanted something that could keep up with us uh, and that we could grow into so we bought this massive camera called the Black Magic just for comparison like it is so much heavier so much bigger this the DSLR shoots in 1080p the Black Magic shoots in 6k uh, which is overkill because the TVs and computers and viewing formats not even in 6K yet. It's all 4K, I think, is like the highest that we have right now, at least on our TV and on, on our computer. Like some, I don't, I don't think anyone has a 6K TV unless you're like crazy. Uh, but the reason 6K is that you can shoot something further away and then in post in your editing, you can zoom into that image and you don't have any quality loss or, or the loss of quality is so minimal that you don't even notice it. Uh, so that's part of the reason. Part, the other reason is, is that the black magic is just shoots in a way, in a style that we just, Alex and I, we just really like it. Like the quality and the picture is just something that we really, really like and how it looks. So that's why we went for the black magic. Cake was shot on a 4k black magic. Uh, this is the 6k, 6k pro. The reason why I went with the 6k pro, it's because it has its built-in ND filters. Uh, ND filters kind of like the sunglasses for your camera. So if it's like super bright outside, 
instead of having to uh, uh, make you, the iris of the camera smaller, the let in less light, so the image is a little darker, isn't like it isn't um, uh, overblown by light. Uh, you can just put it like put an ND filter on, and that ma basically makes it you're able to keep your filming. Uh, you know, the, uh, the ISO and the aperture sort of run the same and you just put on like the sunglass lens and you can still film everything the same. So like, that means like your depth of field isn't changed, uh, the, the the quality doesn't change basically and that's why you have ND filters. Uh, like the basic, I think, explanation that I have for that. Uh, and instead of shooting on this, because this is now broken, but it still works really well, uh, it's just old and some of the uh, the quality of it isn't as great as it used to be, and so to make things better, we ended up starting to shoot and record on this. So Cake was recorded all on this. This is a recorder, so not only can it record sound itself like its own microphone, like you can see this is a dual microphone, and this is actually how we shot and recorded uh, the entire all the car scenes between me and Sebastian and Cake. We just used this, so this channel was his, and this channel was mine, and we just connected these two like that and I clipped this into the car and we shot the entire car scene in there and it worked really well. Um, but now moving forward and shooting all of our other stuff, we are using the uh, Sennheiser. Uh, this is a windsock. It stops uh, like the wind from interfering. So you don't have that. Let's see if I can make it in this microphone. So we heard that this protects that sound. Uh, if you didn't hear it, then it, I'm going to cut all of that. So <laughs> these are really useful when shooting outside. Uh, but this, wow, uh, this, I can get like right over your head with the boom pole uh, and it just picks up your voice and it is great. It makes editing the sound so much easier because uh, it just picks up what you want and any other like background noise in it is so minimal that I can really easily take it out uh, or I just leave it in because it's, it's just so minimal. It doesn't sound, uh, it doesn't take away from the scene. Uh, it just, it sounds really good. And we connect that microphone through an XLR cable into the recorder. And so the recorder records all the sound, not the camera, uh, which makes my job a little bit harder in editing because now I have to sync the sound to the image but that's okay because there's tricks on how to do it and it's not that difficult. Um, but it, it, it's, it can get difficult if you get to clap or you have a clapboard and, it, uh, and that's what those really are for is to help sync the audio to the visual uh, in post when you're editing. Uh, we also are using these wireless mics from DJI. Uh, these is what I'm recording. Uh, yeah, I was recording into the phone, into my phone, which is I'm filming on my phone with. Uh, we're not sponsored by any of these things. Uh, it's just, this is just the gear that we have. Uh, the next camera that we have, which is what we're borrowing this camera, uh, is the uh, Sony camcorder, shoots in 4K. This is kind of like the camcorder that we shot with on, that we first bought for the channel. Uh, in the first few videos we shot with, but that was a, I think 720, maybe 1080p video camera. Uh, and this is 4K, so the quality is very different. Um, but we shot peacocking on that camcorder. And the reason we shot peacocking on that camcorder is because we wanted to have, we wanted to have more of a TV feel. Um, and we wanted a particular TV feel. Uh, more of like a, I think I want to say like mid, like late 2000s, like sitcom feel, uh, which is what Peacock game was really, sort of we really wanted to get that like uh, old gritty like TV feel for like sitcoms. Uh, I don't know if you can call it gritty. It's not, it's not gritty. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not gritty. That was the wrong word. Um, but in particular is because the camcorders uh, well, you can dial and focus on this one, which is pretty cool. We really wanted to have the entire like uh, foreground and background. Every, we wanted everything to be in focus. Um, not only did that make it easier to film, we could film a lot faster because we were filming. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but peacocking is the largest uh, format, the largest uh, 
uh, video that we've ever filmed. I think it, it tops that out at like 18, like almost 20 minutes. Uh, everything else has been like 10, 12 minutes long. Even Cake was uh, only 11 minutes long. And we shot this on with the, the Black Magic. Um, and that was, it was a lot harder to shoot on the Black Magic than it is to shoot on the camcorder because one, you for the Black Magic, you got to focus everything. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, so camcorder is really fun because it was, batteries last a lot longer uh, and you can just shoot and the file sizes are a lot smaller. The, the Black Magic file sizes are like a terabyte of data for like 11 minutes of filming. Uh, like 11 minutes of like what you see uh, is is that. So uh, to film the Black Magic, since the battery dies after like 30 minutes of use, we have to get these bigger, bulkier batteries. We have a couple of these uh, that hook into the Black Magic. Um, so to be able to do that, we need what makes it more helpful is if we have a, a cage to put the camera in and then we hook that camera up to this thing. This is our shoulder mount. So we can hook that up onto here. And then because we hook the cage in, we can hook the battery also onto here. Uh, and that battery lasts for quite a while. Uh, and so we can shoot pretty much everything. But because we're now using the Sennheiser, which has to record into this, which you can't just like hold together because it has this thing too. We need to use a boom pole, uh, which means now we have to have uh, one entire person dedicated to sound, uh, which is hard to do when it's just me and Alex. So that's why we have Sebastian and David now part of our group and Jennifer as well. Uh, and we're gonna be adding more people soon which is I'm very excited about. Uh, so on PB&J, which I co-direct with Sebastian, uh, I also run sound. So Sebastian is in charge of the camera, I'm in charge of the sound, and then once we yell cut, we play back the video image off of the screen and we uh, end up figuring out, do we want to do a different take? Do we want to do uh, more emotion, less emotion in a different way, less away? Yeah, I'm really simplifying the process of directing, but um, hopefully I can get some, you'll be able to see some behind the scenes footage uh, once we finish PB&J and release that. We'll have some behind the scenes footage for that one. Um, I think that is it. Unless you have any more questions about the gear that we have, I feel like I really ran through this very quickly. So if you want me to go more in depth with like the gear that we have, I would love to. It's, I love talking about camera equipment, and like what kind of lenses we use. I, I feel like that would, I would love to talk about that. Um, probably do like, I could show you the difference between the mics maybe at a later date. But for now, this is like the quick and fast explanation of all the gear that we use. Um, so yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah.